Well, hello there, people. It is I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chance for you guys in the viewerverse. I'm back inside of Starfield. I guess I am. You may have noticed my camera was slightly wonky at the start there. I'm redesigning my office. Yes, um, so things might be a little bit off in this episode, like I'm bigger on screen right now, and things like that. But yes, anyways, it would be subtle differences, people. Subtle differences. Let's jump on over into game, and let's go and see where we need to go next, because we have completely surveyed this system that we're currently in which yes is the neuron system we've completely done the neuron system now there is also the valo system here but i'm thinking we've gone to alpha centauri we've been to the sol system i'm thinking maybe we do which one's the lowest level let's go by level that's level one so we will do the sol system next people the sol system is where we're going to be doing the rest of our sort of search and then we'll do Alpha Centauri oh hold on Alpha Centauri is also a level 1 system I'm sure that said level 5 a second ago alright fine well we'll do Alpha Centauri first then oh oh okay so there's Alpha Centauri and Tolomain in the same system that makes it difficult doesn't it so we're going there we're going to Alpha Centauri yes we are and which planet inside of Alpha Centauri shall we do well I think we're going to do Jamison. We're going to do the planet of Jamison. It has got fauna, it has got flora, it is an awesome planet to be held, and it's also where you get the main quests from, which we haven't moved forwards, have we, people? So we go, let's uh, show the resources on this lovely marble, and let's set down a place to explore. I'm going to go right here, because there's quite a lot of biomes in one area. Let's go there, people. I guess. And we're on our way. Brilliant, eh? Are we going to get a nice loading animation, a landing animation? I hope we do. Then again, I've already landed on this planet once. I think it only does it every occasion, or once or twice or whatever. They mechs. They do look like mechs. Hmm. Interesting. Kind of. Right, okay, well, I guess we're not getting an animation then, people. I was wondering why I'm not getting any sound. That would be because I'm not wearing any headset, wouldn't it? Okay, well, let's, uh, let's stick on the old headset, shall we, people? I'll be right back. Right, well that's better. I can now hear the sound of the game. Let's exit ship! Now I'm still with the adoring fan. Now the idea was, is I was going to pick up another cohort and have them accompany me so it's not too, you know, it makes it a little bit more interesting. So we might have to go and speak to Sarah, move the main quest on, do a little bit of that before I scan the rest of this sort of system, but we might as well get Jemison done. Before I do that, oh my nose, we're already seeing blues all over the place, people. There we go. A broadleaf rose. What the fudge is that? Holy fudge, what just killed it? An apex croconaut. Oh my days, these things are named like Willy Wonka named stuff. Heck yes, a croconaut. And what's this one? This one was a herding reef walker scavenger. Yes. Oh. Okay. I'm trying to remember some of the names of the creatures that Willy Wonka named, you know, like Snozwanglers and Vicious Knits and stuff like that. Yeah, it's a shame we can't rename these because I'll be renaming them Willy Wonka-esque starly names. All right, okay. Well, I don't know whether these guys are going to hurt me, but I'll, I'm going to loot this one. To be able to see yourself Have that. You want. Sweet! It is full of mirrors, my friend. It is full of mirrors. Um, you, it's a little bit uncanny that you know me so well. Right, let's head on over this way. We'll scan some more flora. Hopefully scan some more fauna. Oh, no! Ah! I should have guessed that you would be dangerous. Take that! We shot him in the face, and he died. Okay, right. Well, we'll, we'll take whatever he um, left behind, people. You know, waste not, want not, and all. I have my laser to hand now. Okay, well, this tree was inside of the last system that we was in. I've already scanned these, I think, on planet Nir Nirari or whatever. And these look very similar to the plants that we've had before, but... Hmm. Okay. Well, that's a little bit disappointing, I guess. 
Okay, well, we've harvested some stuff off of um, some of the creatures. Oh, look, there are three points of interest to be found on this planet as well, people. And there is a point of interest over on yonder hill by 900 meters. Let's scan it. Let's find out what that is, shall we? Life signs. We will head to the life signs, people. And on my way there, I'm just going to continue scanning all these bushes and shrubberies. Heck yes, I am. So, oh, look, there's a mineral inside the ground there. I nearly forgot about the rocks. I think I've scanned a few of the rocks. Yes, I've got two of five of those. Okay, well, we just had that off the top of there, whatever that was. Oh, there's loads of bushes to be scanned. Shrubberies galore! God! I'm scanning all these shrubberies. Nice! Okay, why do they've got that one there? Yes, I'm like a botanist. Heck, yes I am. That's a, that's a lovely word, botanist, isn't it? It almost sounds like it's some sort of rectal examiner or something, botanist. It would have something to do with bottoms, but it doesn't. It's completely plant-based. I know, right? Freaking crazy stuff. Language and all, you know? Okay, it does make you wonder how a language actually evolved to the way it has evolved, where botanist is for plants. You'd think it'd be plantanist or something, but look, what, where does bot come into it? Yeah, I've always wondered where the numbers 11 and 12 comes from, people. Because you got, like, 1 to 10. I fully get that. It's like when you get to 20, you go to, like, 21, 22. But why isn't it, like, 21 and 22? Why 11 and 12? Where did that even come from, people? You know what I mean? These quandaries keep me up at night. Hopefully now these quandaries in my mind make it into your mind. Oh, I've gone completely off the beaten track, scanning this flicking fauna and flora that we've not locked onto the actual point of interest anymore. There we go, we've got the plant done, and we're 500 metres off course now. Let's uh, head back onto course. Is that the same one? No, that's a different one. That's natural. Well, where was that one that we was going to? Life science. There we go. 800 metres this way. We'll go to this one first, then we may go to the other one. Heck yes, the fun of exploration and wondering where numbers come from. Here with Captain Steve. You won't get this on every channel. Heck no, you won't. We're going to scan this guy, the croconaut. Uh, I don't think he's the croconaut, is he? He's something else, actually. Let's go scan him. Now, I could murder him and take his body parts just to get up my skill, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to murder the ones that try to murder me. That's fair. Okay? That's that's all love and war, isn't it? Anyway, I'll head towards there. I'll let you know if anything interesting happens. Well, we've come across a sea of blue here, people. Look, we've got lots of blue going on. So we've got blue there, I guess. And we've got some more blue over here. And there's a creature amongst the trees and the foliage. We scanned him. Hello, my lovely friend. We scanned this guy too. They seem to be very docile, which is good. Because I wouldn't want to murder one of them. Hold on. This plant was on planet Crete, the very first planet we actually done. That's, um, yeah, that is kind of upsetting, to be honest, people. I'm not going to lie that we're seeing repeated assets on planets from one system to the next. I mean, I can understand repeated assets being in the same system because, you know, life can travel via sort of comets and meteorites and get placed on, on planets, but this is... This is not, in a sense, believable. This is just in the sense of, okay, let's be a bit lazy. Let's copy and paste a resource or two. This will be in my final review, people. Yes, which I, I won't be doing for freaking eons at this rate, because, you know, I'm, I'm, I've only experienced one part of the game, which is kind of scanning, and then combat to some degree, I guess. So, yeah, what the fudge just happened there? Uh, it looked at the floor for no apparent reason, and now I've lost my marker again, people. Anyway, I think you get the... Oh, fudge! There's a bird! There's a pterodactylian! Okay, we want to scan him. Where has he gone? There he is! Oh, he's a big bird! Hello! Ah! Right, bird! Die! Well, that's going to give me some resources. Thank you very much. Okay, we're still heading towards these life signs. Oh, it looks like they it looks like it killed him. Oh well. Okay, well, we're heading over this way anyway. I heard a loud growl. I don't know what that was. It wasn't my stomach, even though I am tad hungry. Not had breakfast today, people. Anyway, I'll see you when I get closer. Okay, well we're a hundred meters out and we can clearly see this thing. There we go, we scanned that. Brilliant. All right. We're in the melted glacier. There must be other things here to scan. We've got this little guy, the croconaut. Let's get him done. 
Crocodont, actually. Crocodont. Oh, well, Crocodont sounds nice anyway. Yeah. What? Scam! Freaking scam! Oh, not close enough. I'm going to boil to death in this water if I'm not careful, though, people. If I get too close to him, I'm probably going to get bitten to death. So I've got a choice of death. Cake or death! Oops. Sorry, mate. I didn't mean to zap you with my laser. No harm done? You're okay with that? I hope you are. I don't really want to do battle with thee. Okay, we're doing battle with him. The music changed. Okay, he's level five. He's level five. Big bad wolf. Die. Okay. Sorry, mate. I did start that fight, didn't I? Okay. I still hear scary noises. There's another one there. Okay, I'm going to scan him anyway, because we need... We, we haven't even got one fauna scanned yet, people. I still need to get closer. I need to up my scanning skill. There we go. We got him. We got him, people. So that's this point of interest. Done. Literally and done. Heck yes, that's one down. You know what? I'm going to make a save. Whenever I get one of these sort of things, I always make a save, just in case my game misbehaves. Anyway, people, let's, um, let's see where the next one is. It's all the way over there. There's unknown. Natural. We'll head towards that then, people. It's 1,000 U's. The sounds on this planet are freaking terrifying, but the creatures here are mainly okay, to be honest. What the fudge is that when it's at home? Is that a tornado? We'll scan that, whatever that is. There's um, argon in the ground there, people. Scandily scan. So resources, we've got five. We've got five of the resources. It sounds like um, someone's shooting at something. Oh well, we'll just ignore that. We'll pretend that's not happening. We're just heading towards that. I'll see you when I get to that. Oh, actually, look. There's a cave. There's a cave and it's slightly closer. We'll go to the cave first, people. Because I might get the rest of the resources inside of said cave. Who cares? See you in the cave. Hey, right, people, I found a new bug. Look at this little guy. Okay, that's going to take me a while to find all of those little shites, isn't it? They're freaking tiny. Have you got any friends, mate? Take me to your family so I can scan them all. Yeah, do that. Okay, I'm going to kill him. I'm going to see what resources you get from him because, you know, why the fudge not? It's what you do, isn't it? Discover new life. It could be the last one on the planet. Yeah, kill it. Okay, I've already got 100% on these guys. Oh, look, there's a whole freaking herd of them. Okay, we have him. Don't, don't, don't I'm not going to hurt you. I'm just scanning these little turtle things. Look, there's another one. Let's get him quickly. I, I haven't seen any of these before. They must be rare. Like the Pikachus of, of freaking whatever this game is. Starfield, that's the one. God, how did I forget the name of the game I was playing? Age! I'm putting it down to age. Yes, I'm not as young as I look, people. I know, I know. I look I look amazing for my age. You don't know my age? Well, you probably do, actually. If you've been watching me on No Man's Sky doing weekend missions, you probably know exactly how old I am. Right, well, let's carry on going. Now, scan. Okay, this, the music's changed, so there must be a predator nearby. Yes, there he is. I haven't got all of them yet. Okay, my adoring fan took care of him. Oh, look, there's a tree over there that I haven't scanned. Let's just double back. Let's just make sure we've got that tree. Ah, there's a pterodactylian. Where'd he go? I want that parrot hawk. Scanned the parrot hawk. I, do, I think they must have had a day off when they were naming these creatures, because, yeah, Parrot Hawk is just two names of two birds from Earth. Yeah, um, okay, Parrot Hawk, fine. Can I scan the Parrot Hawk? I did. Yes, it looks like they give you a little bit of a grace on the freaking airborne and also seaborne fauna. You can scan them from a bit more of a distance, which makes sense, doesn't it, people? It does, yes. Okay, let's uh, scan that tree over there. Okay, um, I'm still heading towards the cave. Sorry, I, I got sidetracked. I mean, this is what I... You know when I say, I'll see you at the cave! Well, stuff like this happens. It doesn't always happen sort of like magically. Right, well, we're still 400 metres away from said cave. So, you know, I haven't travelled far from the last time I said, See you at the cave, Cavey Davey! Okay, people, we reconvene. I'm practically on the cave. I think I'm above it, actually, people. I think I need to drop down a level. But yes, we've arrived at the cave. Cave discovered. We only need one more resource. Is the resource going to be in the cave? Now, you probably know from past experience, 
I've only had luck in one cave out of like 12 or something that I've been in finding resources, so we'll see how we get on inside of this one. Let's turn our torch on! Our yeah, battery is not included. Right, and uh, let's get the old scanner out, shall we? And let's have a little jaunt around the cave. I'm seeing green, which I'm, I'm not seeing any blue as yet, people. Um, but yes, you know what? I, I travel this cave, and if I find a blue, I'd let you know, because caves aren't the most interesting, are they? Okay, chums. Well, I didn't find a resource in here, but I did find one of these little crab guys. Yes, a beetle grazer. He certainly seems to be the only one in here, and he was rather high up. Pain in the backside to get to. We've got a dung pile over here as well. Let's go in and investigate that. And we've got some of these sleeping dudes inside of here. Oh, I say sleeping. Oh, they appear to be dead, because I can loot them. How odd. Well, maybe something was toxic in here. Maybe something poisoned them. Who knows? I, I just saw blue, but it's my it's my adoring fan. Sadly, you can't scan him to make him bloody green. All right, people. Well, I guess we're going out of the cave because I think we've fully explored it. Hold on. There's another one of those little beetles in here. 86 men sent. If we scan one more of those beetles, I think we've completed the set. Our Pokedex would be happy. Okay. Um, is there any other beetles around here? Please be one more beetle. Nope. Okay, well, I guess we've got to find a beetle in the wild. Okay, Jums, we'll be locked onto the, that natural formation that we're going to make our way to. The screen just angrily vibrated then. I don't know what that was all... Oh, my days! There's a Terramorph. He's a level 10 Terramorph. Let's, uh, let's get a weapon out for this guy, shall we? Oh, he's fighting a freaking Pterodactylian. Have I got any shotgun shells? It's hard to say. Oh, no, we've got this. Breast calibrated Grendel. Let's go get him. Let's go get the Terramorph. Hello. I've come to bring you Terra, Terramorph. Frickin' have it. Ow. Frickin' fire, then. Frickin' heck. I don't know why there's a Terramorph on this planet. I mean, yeah, Crete makes sense. We saw that they were making them on Crete. How did he get here? Have you got your own ship, Terramorph? You're me. 145 XP. Looted him. Where's that birdie man bird bird that he killed? Because that would be a free scan. Hmm. Where'd it go? I thought this was a persistent weld and all. Oh well, he's disappeared. Alright, well there's the cave. He, he did kill the bird just around here. I'm sure he did. Oh well. Oh, there it is. I was right next to the bloody thing. There you go. Scanned. Might as well loot this dead body. This dead carcass of the hawk parrot. Or parrot hawk. Whatever it was. Right, let's head on over there then. We're heading to this natural formation. If I can get over this rock. There you go, Jans. Well, I've come across some more blue. I guess. Quite a lot of it, too. I don't know whether I've just moved into another biome with all the walking I've done, but it could be quite possible. Right, OK. Let's um, scan this one, then. OK. I was hoping that would pop it, but it hasn't as yet. What the fudge have we got here? It's like a giant mass of twigs. OK. All right. So it looks like we're actually at that wonder area, or whatever it is, the point of interest. And we've just got one more to scan in here of this netted sort of nested branches okay so we was, was scanned one that was that big one over there we've got to find another one of those big ones inside of all this mess why has the sound changed why has the music changed is it because i'm on a discovery or am i about to get eaten alive by something big and horrible there you go scanned i guess well i think we've done quite well in this area oh look there's a person down there let's go say hello Hopefully that's the sort of person you can say hello to. I've got a feeling it might not be, though. I think it's a hunter, actually. I think we're okay. Yeah, we can talk to these guys. Oh, he looks hurt. This is probably going to result in some si here. some side, side quest. Hello, nurse. <sighs> Doctor, whoever you are, I don't care. Just help. You got constipation. All right, here we go. Let's give him a medipack. Please help me. My brother was attacked by some nasty creature. I was and about going to. to. He needs a med pack. Quick. I was about to give him one. You took me out of the bloody med. Okay, there you go. Oh, phew. I owe you 
Seriously. Great. How about just some money? <coughs> How about money? Money? Oh, money? He may I be my annoying brother, but I don't know what I do I without just him. need to rest now. Rest up. Okay. I guess they give me nothing for helping them live. Okay. Thank you. He may be my annoying brother, but I don't know right. what I do without Fine. Him. I guess I get nothing for my help. Oh, I shouldn't do things inspecting anything, you know. Life signs. Well, we've already done one life signs. We can go there and see if that pops another one of these badges, but I've got a feeling that I've got to go somewhere else. Maybe to another biome to get the third remaining one. But I might as well stick to this biome just for a bit longer because I haven't done all the flora. I haven't done all the fauna in this area. So I'll see you there and hopefully I would have up to the tally somewhat okay people there seems to be one of these little beetly bugs there you go 100 percent on the beetly bug i guess so fauna wise we've still got a lot to scan i scanned two more of those pterodactylians while you were gone the parrot hawks or hawk parrots whatever they are and uh yeah so i'm a bit closer on them i need to keep an eye out to the skies every now and again to scan one of that oh there was something over here that's blue there you go, another tree done. How, how many is that now? 86. I only need one more of those shrubberies. And hopefully, I'm going to 100% the shrubbery. So yeah, making progress, surely, but slowly. Okay, sentient microbiology. And it does look like the same sort of gap that I was at earlier. So I don't think I'm going to get another point of interest with this one, people. I mean, that one shows a solid blue as well. So yeah, this, this is not going to work. I don't really want to leave this area just yet. Um, we've got another Signs of Life over there, which has got a different icon. Where has it gone? I did have one locked in. Hold on. What's this blue thing over here? Hmm. Okay. What the fudge? There's a load of dead people! Okay. What have you got on you? Sin for meat chicken. Okay. I think... Yeah, they're all a little... Oh, credits. Don't mind if I do. Don't know what happened to them. Maybe they were investment gate in the biology and got poisoned or something. There was another point of interest that had like a snowflake icon on it. And I've lost it now. Oh, there it is. 400 views that way. We go to that one and then I think I might try another biome. Okay, people, hardly worth rejoining back in. But just to show you, there's that shrubbery I need to complete my shrubbery set. There we go. It says they're biome complete now on flora. So the other two floras must be in another biome. But we haven't had that said about resources. We haven't had that said about flora, I mean fauna. So there's a good chance that there's more fauna and the resources to be found inside of this biome, peeps. So there is that to go by. It would be nice to complete. Oh, hold on. Okay, that's already showing blue as well. But we've got a bird up there. Let's see if we can get him. Oh, he's freaking high. I don't think I can scan that high. Now, I could shoot them out the sky, couldn't I? But that's, that's a little bit cruel. Anyway, they're flying way high. I don't know what's going on there. There's a whole load of those pigeons. And they're not coming down to my level. Heck, no, they're not. All right, well, um, I can always come back to one of these biomes later. But what's that over there? Let's just have a little scan of that one. It says unknown at the moment. Natural. I think we've already been to a natural one as well, so... I think we ought to try our luck in a new biome because yeah those pigeons are, are way too high in the sky i can't scan them yet they're not coming down for love nor money okay well i'll head on over back to my ship i think people yeah because right now it's i'm finding it quite difficult to find out anything else this is a big lump of blue but i've already done all the argon so and i'm not finding many rocks Mainly because there's so many bloody trees, I can't see any rocks through them. I mean, there's rocks here, but there's no blues amongst these rocks, you know? So I don't know what resources look like on this planet. I reckon the resources might be the hardest thing for me to complete on this planet. What do you guys think? I bet it is. I bet you the last thing to find on here is going to be that last freaking resource. I only need one. And I bet you I struggle to find the blasted thing. All right, anyway, I'm going to fast travel back to my ship, I think. But actually, you don't even have to go to your ship. This is the weird thing that I found. When you've been on the planet and you put boots on the ground, you can just hit the planet like this. You can scan, go into this mode here, find yourself another biome. So let's uh, find myself a biome. Let's go to the coastline, maybe there. There you go, look, only 30% there. And I can just hold the button down. 
nowhere near my ship, but I can just fast travel like freaking Goku. Instant translocation. Pow! And I'm there instantaneously, people. Freaking mentals. I didn't take that photo. That's not one of my photos. That reminds me, I've got to take a few photos for the end of this video, don't I? I guess. Traveling to distant worlds, exploring the galaxy, and learning about each other. This is what it's all about. Mate, couldn't agree more, to be honest. Oh, look, there's a new shrubbery. We'll get that scan, shall we? That, that must be a new shrubbery to this area, people. Oh, so, yes, I've got to scan all of them. Already got this shrubbery. There's probably new creatures to this area, too. There, there's one of those parrot hawks. It's out of scan range. There you go. Now I should be able to scan you. There you go. 100%ed on the old parrot hawk. Nice. Okay, well, we need somewhere to head to. What's that over in yonder distance? It's not letting me scan it yet because it's locked onto a bush. Life signs. We'll head towards that then, life signs. Hopefully it's not the same as what we found in the previous biome. But what the fudge are you? Oh, my days. Would you look at this? Let's get a photo of this. Is it just twatted me? I think it might have done. We'll take a photo anyway. There you go. You're going to see one of my photos. You know what? I'm just going to go off. Oh, hold on. There's a new creature over there. Hold on. Oh, I better kill this now that it's attacked me. Can't have a plant taking the mick, can we? Oh, look. There's a new creature. I'll scan him. What are you? Okay, he seems to be quite docile. We saw another creature over here. He was in blue and he looked predatory, like a dog-like looking creature. Is that the last of the re Yes, we've got all the resources done, people. It was in the ground. It wasn't even a rock on a hill or anything. It was just a thing. There you go. Look, what's this over here? Let's go see this. I saw another creature as I took a photo of that previous creature that we haven't got yet. Yes, these things. Hold on. I've seen these before as well. I think I saw these on planet Neri. They were near cave mouths. Yep, I've seen these. And they make exactly the same sound. Okay, that's a little bit disappointing, I have to say. Yep, this will definitely be in my final review of the game. But I am seeing repeats of creatures and the actual plant life. The reusing of assets is a little bit disappointing for me. And I think I've just got a game crash. Nope, it was just a pause. Which happens every now and again. And before it would crash then, they've just put out a patch. Ouch! Okay, you want some, do you? Fine. I'm going to mine and laser you all to death. You do realise that attacking somebody, when you're made out of freaking tea leaves, is probably not your best bet, no. Right. I better heal myself quickly. Because although these things are fairly weak, there was a pack of them. And they freaking nearly done me a number, people. They nearly done me a number! There's one behind me, and this, this one's like level five. Take that, you, you hooligan. They can spit acid as well. <laughs> He's doing pew pew noises. I'm out of medi packs now, people. Oh, fudge. This is not a good sign. Okay. Um, I don't know whether my health automatically recovers, but I might have something in my pack. Hopefully I've got something in my pack when it comes to aid that I can use to make myself feel a little bit better. Let's eat that. We've got anything else I can eat. Restores two health. Okay. And a little bit of recovery. There we are. We'll have that then. That should do the trick. That should have helped me out a little. It should give me a little bit of recovery on health, apparently. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be doing fudging nothing. Holy fudge. What is he shooting at now? Okay, there's another one of those creatures there. Okay, we've got 100%ed that creature. Nice. We were heading towards this point of interest over here, wasn't we? That said life signs. We go there, people! Hopefully I'll see you in one piece when we arrive, Kate. But I think I need to go shopping. I've got a lot to sell and a lot to buy. I need to buy some more ammo. I need to buy some more medicines and medipacks. Yeah, and I think I need to progress the story. I think I need to go speak to Sarah. Swap out my, um, my little adoring fan for Sarah for a while, I think, people. Might as well mix it up a bit. Make it a bit more interesting for you, my viewer. I guess. Let's head on up this hill, then. 
Oh, bollocks. Yeah, we'll go around this hill then. That was the plan originally, but I saw something I hadn't scanned. Okay, we'll get over this way. Get out of the way of these creatures. What's that? Oh, it's one of these little doodle bugs. Hello, little doodle bug. His name is a Karna snail. Very cool, Karna snail. I've lost my point of interest again, people. Okay, there's um, some sort of structure over there. We don't need a structure, though. I've lost him. Oh, there it is. It's over there. We're back on track again. Not to worry, people. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, people, we've reached this area, but it looks like another microbiology sort of pond or something. But it has got some of these bushes I haven't managed to scan yet, so we might as well get these done. But I don't think this is going to count as another one of the um, wonders. Yeah, look, it's all blue. So, yeah, although this is another biome, I've got to find something a little bit more interesting here. We've finished that plant, though. What's over there? Life science is probably going to be the same thing again. What about that one? Natural. Well, we'd head towards the natural, I suppose, inside of this area, peeps, and see what we get. But if I go that full 700 U's, or 700 meters, whatever you want to say, and I haven't come across anything else, I think I might try another biome if there is one. Yeah. Something to note, people. I landed near coastline, yet I have not seen any water. I have not seen any oceans. Let's just check over this hill. Let's see if I can see anything. Let's just get up to the vantage point. Let's just go up to here. Let's see if I can see any oceans from up here, shall we, people? Yeah. I don't think we're that close to a coastline, to be honest, people. So, yeah, I might have to go closer to a coastline just to see if there's any sort of fish creatures. Anyway, we're quite close to this point of interest here, this natural one, and it looks different to anything else I've come across. So, yeah, and we've got outlined blues in here. So this one is going to pop our last point of interest. Yes. Okay, so that's that one scanned. Oh, we're done. We're freaking done, mate. All right, well, you know what that means. I'll make another save. Oh, sweet. Got extra skill points. Let's go into here. Let's make a save. I'm going to have to look at where I'm going to spend those skill points at some point, people. But for now, that's that scanned. I might get a nice photo here. But um, I'll reconvene and we'll look for another biome. Okay, now I want to go for real coasty coastline, you know? Really coasty coastline. Um, let's have a look for really coasty coastline. I'd say around there. Okay, we've got the forest there. Nope, we want to move it a little bit more. Ocean, can't land there. We want freaking coastline. Coast and forest. There we are. That should do the trick. We're 90% done inside of this area. Hopefully we're still on the light side of the planet as well. Now I do know the creatures that we haven't got yet. We haven't got the, the Karna crab completely done. And we haven't got those croconaut like predators that was in the first biome completely done yet. So yeah, we've got our wonders done. So that's all good. I'm still not seeing any coastline around here. Still not seeing any oceans. Still not seeing any water. But yeah, so there's still quite a lot of fauna that we haven't actually done yet, people. It'd be nice if it showed you which direction the ocean was in. I know that's a bit of a weird thing to ask for. But it puts you in these weird places and the ocean could be in any direction. Um, yeah, okay. Well, we'll head this way then. I'm just taking it by sheer chance. I suppose I could get to the top of the mountain and see if it's on the opposite side of there, but I would say it's the opposite way to the mountains. That's that's my logical sense, actually. Let's go this way. And let's see if we can be lucky and find coastline. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get lucky. Let's just have a look over here. Let's see if we can see water. Otherwise, I think we might as well just use the fast travel and pick another point on the map and just hope we get lucky with coastline there. He goes, yeah, I've not seen any bloody coastline. I'm not seeing any carna crabs. And I'm not seeing anything else of aught either. At the oh, no, hold on. I just saw something blue over there moving relatively fast. I have no idea what it was. It was just a little glimpse of blue. Let's head over. Let's see if we can find it. By the time I've got there, it's probably moved off to somewhere else. No, look, there it is. What is it? Oh. It's a new type of bird. It's not letting me scan the blasted thing. Why? Why is it not letting me scan this? Hold on. Let's just get it. Ah! There you go. 
Apex Parahawk. But I've already scanned the Apex Parahawk. Oh, this is 14% scan. This is something new. Flocking Sea Bat. Okay, take me to sea, Sea Bat. That's what I'm hoping it does anyway. So there is something near... Oh, look, we've got another blue thing over there. Flocking Sea Bat. I'm going to scan it. Scanned. And there's another one over here. It looks like they're easy pickings for these sea creatures, which is good, because, um... Why not... Uh, fuck off! I'm trying to scan a sea bat. Freaking have it. Okay, right. Scan. There we are. We've got that done. I wonder what materials you get from a sea bat. Okay, nothing. Right, well, it's good that these guys are killing the sea bats. It makes them a little bit easier to scan. Mm, done that one. There's one that's still alive. Let's go scan that one. Scan. They're a bit of a pan pain to scan, these uh, sea bats. But we might as well stay here until I've got all the sea bats done, at least, before I move on to the next sort of biome. I think that's been my mistake. I shouldn't have moved on from the other biomes until I'd got all the carna crabs and got all the... Because um, I'm going to have to double back on myself, maybe. I was hoping to find mixed biomes so I could get more done at once. But uh, that hasn't sort of worked out for me. Now I need to find all the sea bats. We're getting quite a few pores. Oh, hold on. There's a carna crab. So my idea of getting mixed biomes has kind of worked. Any more carna crabs? Well, I carry on looking for sea bats and carna crabs inside of this area, but this is definitely not the coastline in the way that I thought it would be, people. I just saw another blue thing over here just as I was about to click off then. Let's go scan that one. Okay, that should take me up to 88, 86. The next one should be 100% on the Karna Crab. Need to find more sea bats, though. Mm, sea bats, sea bats, where are you? Well, there's a big freaking parrot hawk over there. Already got the parrot hawks. Okay, well, I think you know what I'm looking for. Karna Crabs and uh, sea bats. All right, fine. And I'll, I'll see you when I've managed to get them. Oh, would you look at that, people? There's a whole flocking sea bats up there. Okay. Not letting me scan that last one, though. I've got them two, I think. Come on, it's inside a range of meters. There you go, got that one. Uh, there's one more that I haven't got there. There we go, we've got all the sea bats. Now, you would think the sea bats would ne be near to the sea, wouldn't you? And they're flocking around here. Hold on, have I just found the seaside? I think I've found the seaside, people. Heck yes, I have. Let's see if there's anything to be had around here. Oh, look, we've got something new. Those plant creatures are freaking deadly, aren't they? What the fudge is this, though? Tusk frog. Okay. So there's tusk frogs near to the coast, peeps. Good to know. God, those plant creatures are killing every blinking thing. All right, I um, guess I'm looking for tusk frogs now. It'd be nice to find a living example to see if they actually jump and stuff. Are there any fish, though? Let's have a quick look. It says that the biome is complete. But um, I don't think I have completed this biome yet. Not really. But maybe we've seen all the creatures now. I don't know. Let's see if we can find a tusk frog. Okay, we've got this pigeon over here, griefing some creatures. I think I saw something blue amongst all this. No, maybe I didn't then. Okay, there's a carna crab. 100% on the carna crab. Now we just need to find more tusk frogs. Alright. Oh, oh, there's one. Is he dead though? Hold on, no, this is an apex croconaut. Oh, great. So they're inside of this biome as well. I just need one more of them. I can find another one of them. That'll be freaking magic. Everything seems to be inside of the coastline biome, people. Which is good. Look at all these sea bats. I was right to follow the sea bats. If you want to get to the coast, follow the sea bats, people. And you should get to the coast. Well, it's, it's, it worked for me. Hopefully it worked for you. Now, are these... Are these frogs actually in the ocean? And I was just lucky to see one out of the ocean because I'm not really seeing much happening around here at the moment, people, as we said, in the way of those um, 
crabs, or toads, or whatever they are, frog things. A tusker frog. I need to see one actually alive and behaving as it should to understand where they might be. Or at least that's what that's my that's my thoughts right now, people. I'll tell you what, I reconvene when I find a tusker crab. Okay, chums, I've been literally going around the coastline for freaking ages. And um I haven't come across any more of those tusker frogs. I mean this would be the perfect sort of place I'd imagine. A tusker tusker frog would like to hang out. Maybe they need a bit more vegetation. Maybe they're more amphibious. Who freaking knows? Because I've only found one and that got murdered right between, well, right in front of me, people. I don't even know if they swim in the Asians. But it looks like that's the only last creature I've got before I've hit the nine. So I know what I'm looking for. I just don't know where to find the dang blasted thing. And also, with the last plant, I'm not too sure what the last frickin' flora was, but I was definitely wrong on the resource being the last thing that I would find, people. Yeah, I know that I've found everything I need to find, but I just don't know where to find the last ones for me to scan. I'm just gonna go over this last bit of hill, and then I'm gonna be trying more coastline, but trying like a different sort of biome on hoping to find the tusk frog amongst all of that. I mean, look, we've got... We've got some of those sailback creatures over here, the ones that make the weird noises. We've got a bit more vegetation here. We've got a bit more greenery. My worry is I jump to a new location right before I find a high, whole colony of tusk frogs. So, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of in two minds. Do I give up on this coast, go to another bit of coast, or do I stay here? Hold on, people. I just saw this murdering crab creature, this coral bug, attack something. And whatever it attacked, it's actually blue. I think it's just killed another one of those cr those freaking frogs. It has. Look, there you go. There's one of them frogs. Let's have a better look at him. Why is it not scanning? There we go. We've scanned him now. 29%. Now he's right near the ocean. But what's so special about this location? There must, where there's one, there's got to be others. Was he actually in the sea? I don't know. I've tried swimming out for a while and not found anything. And when I find found this tusk, let's look around this area, see if we can find any more tusk frogs. But they seem to be as rare as frickin' rocking horse turd, people. And who knows, these blasted git bags might be murdering them all. Okay. They're doing some murdering over there, but there's not another tusk frog. Well, I just found another one just on the coastline. Oh, look, there's one of those red plants over there. You see the archway? Oh, look, there's a tusk frog and it's alive. It's freaking alive. Okay. Oh, don't kill him yet. I want to see him moving. Oh, look at him. He's pretty cool. He's getting the freaking shite kicked out of him right now, people. Oh, he's actually hunting. He's a predatory creature. So he's given as good as he gets. Let's watch this battle play out. He's murdered everything. Okay, look at him go. He freaking jumps. See that? That's freaking awesome. I was wondering whether that might be the last floor or it's not. Oh, that hunting tusk frog is actually doing quite a lot of damage. Okay, so at least we know now that um, we've just got to get more of them done. And they do hang around just at the coastline, at random. Okay, don't bite my friend. We're going to have to kill one of these rare beasties. Kill him one, does it call its friends? No, damn it, it's not like a pack animal by the looks of things, some people. But at least we've seen one in action now. They actually leap into the sky. Excellent. All right, well, I carry on down this coastline. Wasn't it lucky that I didn't freaking do one? Um, yeah, just carry on on the coastline and hopefully you're going to find your tusk frogs, people. Well, chums, has happened. I've reached the boundary map. I wonder how far away I am from my actual shipity ship. It's not even... It's 362... Well, 3,627 metres, and then I've hit the boundary map. Yeah, so let's open up the planetary map and let's see if I can find myself Another area here. I'm going to go see these little islands. I'm going to try one of these islands for these guys, you know. Let's go onto that island. 
Yep, coast and its forest. Yeah, we're going there. Let's do that. So this should be a nice little island. This should be perfect territory for the frogs. This location seems full of life. We should name it after you. Also, every <laughs> other location in the galaxy. <laughs> oh, we can't do that in this game. We can in No Man's Sky. Yeah, it's a shame you can't join us in No Man's Sky, my friend. Righto, so we're inside of this area. I wonder if the last plant or the last flora is inside of this area as well. Now, again, I don't know where the coastline is, but as you can see there from the map, I selected the most tiniest of islands. So I'm hoping we're just going to be surrounded by ocean and hopefully those Tusker frogs. Anyway, if I come across the last of the flora or any more Tusker frogs, I'll be sure to let you know, people inside the viewer verse. I guess I will. Okay, Jumps, because it was saying like 100% in that area, I figured probably go to someone that says 90% like this one. It's again another little island and it says Ducidius Forest. So we go there, people. Hopefully I can find the last flora at least. Wow. Okay, this looks pretty darn freaking epic. All right. Hopefully we're going to find the last of the flora here. And if we can find the seaside, I mean, there's a mountain there. So I'd imagine the sea is going to be this way. That's um, my take on things now. It keeps doing that, where the camera mode just violently shifts. Not too sure what's going on there, but it really throws you through a loop. Unless the freaking seaside is the opposite side of that mountain. You know, that's always a possibility. Hold on! We have found some toads, some frogs. I guess we have. Brilliant. So maybe they don't need to be right near the coast. Or maybe I'm close to the coast. There is that. I found two right next to each other. Whoa! He tried to bite me. See that? He really went for it. Okay, well, we're going this way now. Holy fudge! He can run fast! Get him! Stop it, you! I mean, even these are called coral bugs. Hold on. It looks like my friend has found some more frogs. You murdering frogs. Oh, well, it's the two that I already scanned. All right, fine. Come on, buddy. We've got to find more of those. Now, I was thinking it's a shame there isn't some sort of catalogue that you have with all of your creatures in that you've found. So you can look at them and read about their inhabitat or their habitat or whatever and find out exactly what conditions they like. It's like the last flora that I've got to find right now. It'd be nice to open up a booklet and see which one I am only 80% on. So I know roughly where I've got to go. Because at the moment, I don't even know what bush I'm supposed to find. At least I know what creature I've got to find. I've got to find some more tusker crabs. but Or tusker frogs or whatever they are. But at, at the moment, I can't find what plant it is that I'm short of. I haven't seen anything light up blue for a while. And I didn't see anything on the coastlines when I was there, so maybe I need to go back to where I was originally. Try there. But um, yeah, look, everything's freaking green. All the bushes here. Hold on, there's another frog over there. 80 meters away. Let's go get him. 86. I only need one more of these little blighters now. Okay, well, there was one before. There was another one. And yes, it worked. We've got them. We've got them, people. Right, well that now says biome complete, so I don't know about the flora though. Let's get out of here. Oh great, we've got two of them on me. Freaking have it, have it, have it. Right, we've got them. Right, I should be able to fast travel out of here now. Let's have a look, see. Am I now, if I keep it exactly where it was, am I now 100% in this area or is it still saying 90 Oh, it hasn't put me where I was, has it? All right, well, let's just click around then. 100%. 100%. Let's click back there. 90%. Yes, I think I'm completely done. According to this. Frozen mountains. Look, 88%. So we go to the frozen mountains, people. That must be where the last plant is. Well, it's that time again for photo mode. So here I am. Taking on the local wildlife. This one is not a threat, but yeah, I punched it in the freaking chin anyway. Ginger, mate. Freaking ginger. What are you going to do about it? Yeah, nothing. That's what I thought. 
Next one is me standing on a rock by a load of trees. It looks like one of those places you go to get Christmas trees. I guess it does. Which tree am I taking home? And we got this guy that, yeah, shortly after this photo was taken, bit me. Freaking biter. Hat him. I hate him. And there I am going for a run. Probably running away from those bitey flower tree monsters. Yeah, triffids. And then here I am taking a lovely picture, which I'm probably going to use as the thumbnail, to be honest, because that just looks majestically awesome. Righto, well, that's pretty much my photo gallery, people. I hope you like my pictures. Look at us exploring new biomes, meeting new pets. New pets, you say? I haven't managed to find out how you get pets. I have heard that you can. I just don't know how it's done. Okay, there we go. There's blue over there, people. We can see what our plant is. Now, I'd imagine I've already start scanned some of this plant in another biome. Maybe it had a little bit of biome creep. Yes, it's one of these. Okay, yes, I've scanned quite a lot of these already. So, yeah, I was lucky I came here. Okay, 14% scanned. Let's have a look then. Let's have a look for another one of them. Okay, lovely. Well, I'm going to find that plant. There's one. Maybe I hadn't actually. This one looks like it might be only indigenous to the frozen world. Yeah, let's let's grab that then. Okay, two frozen leaf added. Well, this seems to have quite a lot of nasty creatures inside of this frozen area, people. We're going to have to be extremely careful. I haven't got any more medi packs, so yeah. I look. I can see another plant over in yonder distance. I have got one more skill point I can spend, but I want to hold out because I want to improve my scanners from space. Oh, that's a point. I didn't show you people, but I've actually managed to get my skill points into scanning to the top level now. Look at this. Look, 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 look. I'm level, I'm level four. I can now do 50 meters, mate. Heck yes. Okay. So there we go. Let's test it on this plant here. Well, oh, we're right on it now. Uh, Pointless. It was hiding behind a tree, so I couldn't really test that. Okay, any more for any more? Haven't got much more to find here. These plants are quite rare, even in this icy conditions. There's one over there. Run like the wind. We've got a predator after us now. The music's changed. He's right on us, people. He's not going to leave me alone. He's got the scent of me and he wants a bite. Well, if you want to bite, you're going to have to have a bite, mate. Yeah, it's like a rhyme. Like Phil Hill. Okay, so we've got all those. I did see another one behind me a minute momentarily ago. Did we get that one? Oh, that's, that's is that blue. There we go. Hundred percent survey doodled. Right, we can fast travel back to my ship. I think people. Yes, please. Rick, yes! Jameson looks like it's 100% completed, peeps. We will just double check while I'm inside my ship, though. Okay, I'm not in my ship. I'm just outside of it. But yeah, this will do. Let's, let's have a look here, then. Let's see if we've 100%ed it. Jameson planet! 100% surveyed. We have all of its bits and bobs all done there. Freaking lovely jubbly. It's a shame you can't, like, click on, like, flora from this menu here. Or to go into the survey data and at least look at it, you know? I'd like to see all the discoveries on a page and read about these creatures and all the things that came up because they come up so quick. You don't really read them. We need a catalogue. We need a catalogue, Bethesda, if you're listening. We need a catalogue. I guess we do. But anyway, there we go. That's Jameson, 100% completed, people. And you know what? I'm going to spend a bit of my own time going to Jameson, moving the quest forwards. We're going to get Sarah as a companion. I might do it as a live video. I don't know. Yeah, Sunday tomorrow. It will Saturday right now. I might do it later this eve. Anyway, people, thank you for joining me. Cheery bye.